there are a couple million animal species on this planet. With a number that big, there's bound to be thousands, if not more, species that look like this thing. Or this thing. Or maybe even this thing. In this video, we're going to be talking about some of the weirdest living animals on planet Earth. Okay, let's start with the hagfish. Now, these giant eels live a little bit more than a mile underwater. And that's how you know that it's going to be crazy. I mean, name an animal that lives that far down that doesn't look like some sort of weird alien. This thing can absorb nutrients through its skin, and it's supposedly been around for about 300 million years. They also have a skull made out of cartilage, the same stuff your nose is made out of, and no vertebrae. Yep, no vertebrae. They have a skull, but no vertebrae. They are literally spineless. Also, when they're threatened, they can produce enough mucus to fill a five-gallon bucket. And believe it or not, there's also a hagfish day. There really is a holiday for everything. Up next, the hairy frog. I think it's obvious why I chose this animal. This frog lives in Africa, or more specifically, Cameroon. The hair, in air quotes, on it has a bunch of blood vessels in it, which helps it breathe. Also, when this thing is threatened, as a last resort, it can shoot out its claws. Yes, this frog has claws, and it has to break their bones to get their claws out. And oh yeah, did I mention that its claws are made out of blood? The scorpion fly. The only reason I really chose this one is because of how weird it looks. There's not much else interesting about it. Next, the bloodworm. The bloodworm can be found in the US state of Maine. At first glance, you might think nothing of it, but this thing has a head that it can sort of shoot out of its body. And it's also venomous, but its bite is only half as bad as a bee sting. And uh, by the way, those teeth, right there, that you see, I'll have an arrow pointing at it. They're made of copper, the same stuff on our pennies. Okay, next animal, the, 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 what, 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 how, how, uh, the, the pro, 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 ma maco, maco, the, Sharon. Sharon, believe it or not, is actually a squid species and not a starfish, and it's one of the rarest species ever. In fact, there's only one living Sharon in the entire world, and it's an amateur female. It's only about one inch big, and those teeth there are actually small folded lips. On to the next animal. The cassowary. This bird is the second largest bird in the world. Second only to the ostrich. This bird is basically the result of an avatar marrying a pterodactyl, a turkey, a porcupine, and a kangaroo. It can swallow apples whole, run 30 miles per hour, jump 6 feet in the air, and can kick you hard enough to kill you. It also has razor sharp claws, blue skin, free toed legs, scales, and quills on its wings. This is as close as you're gonna get to the average idea of a dinosaur. The crown of thorns. It starts out as a typical starfish with five legs, but as it grows, it grows more legs. They can grow to be about a foot in diameter and gain up to 20 legs. It's also venomous. It injects venom through those spikes on the top of it right there. But that's it for this animal. The Sicilian. Believe it or not, this thing is an amphibian. Yes, you heard me right. This worm is in the same family as a frog. Uh, this is a, a pretty strong worm. It's super slimy. It has a skull, eyes, teeth, and nostrils. And it also has small tentacles on the front of its face that help sense its prey. And it comes in a rainbow of colors. It's the natural world of Skittles. The horseshoe crab. This isn't a crab and is actually more closely related to spiders, and its ancestors can be traced up to 450 million years ago. It gets its name because it kind of looks like a horseshoe on the top. It has a total of 9 eyes, 
two on its shell, two under its shell, and five light-sensing eyes on the top of its shell. Also, it's not actually harmful at all to humans, despite popular belief. Now, before we get to the animal which I personally think is weirdest, let's go over some other animals really quick. The Pinocchio frog. It's a frog with a pointy nose on its forehead, and it can actually be used to convey mood. When it's threatened, it points up. When it's calm, it points down. The Paku fish. This is a fish similar to the Sharon. It has teeth that are shockingly similar to that of a human. The blue lobster. Very simple, a lobster with a genetic mutation that makes it blue. And a fun fact, the odds of catching one of these is about 1 in 2 million. And there's also a blue crayfish. The glass frog. This frog has transparent skin on its stomach, allowing you to see uh, its internal organs. The lamprey. Basically a worm combined with a leech and it has rows of teeth. And now, the weirdest animal in my opinion, the echidna. So you know how you've been told your whole life that a platypus is the only mammal that lays eggs? If so, your entire life is a lie! The echidna, like the platypus, is the only other mammal that lays eggs. They also live in Australia, like the platypus. Why does Australia have so many weird animals? They have quills like a porcupine, which aren't venomous, but will irritate your skin if you got stung. When threatened, they burrow down into the ground super fast and they stay there. They also only eat bugs. They use their super long and sticky tongue to grab bugs, and they don't have teeth. It is, to me, one of the, if not the, weirdest animal in the world. This video is gonna take forever to edit, I know it. Future me, please confirm. Yes, past me. I can confirm that this video took about 10 hours or so from uh, writing the video to editing it. And the thumbnail. That's a whole other story. The thumbnail took me like, I think an hour and a half, maybe two hours. So yeah, around 12 hours of, of work to this video. Well, I hope you guys liked the video. Please leave a like down below if you did. And if you didn't, please leave a dislike down below and tell me why in the comments. Okay, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Goodbye.